Welcome to Electron Online. I thought let's do another problem, a line integral in three dimensions. So our vector has three dimensions to it. And so now we have to make sure that when we travel on our path that we take into account all three dimensions. But first what we're going to do is travel along the path from the origin, along the x-axis, then along the y-axis, then along the z-axis to the point 1, 1, 1. In the next video we'll try to do it directly from the origin to that point and see how we need to do it in that respect. So here I already get a, ourselves a head start. We're going to start along path 1, then along path 2, then along path 3, add them all together. And along path 1, dy and dz are equal to each other and they're equal to 0 because we're not moving along the y or the z direction on our first path. So we take our vector and we're going to take the dot product with a small displacement in the x direction, dx in the x direction which means that when we multiply via the dot product, the y and the z components drop out because we only have one x component right there. So this becomes equal to the integral from 0 to 1 because in the x direction we travel from the origin, x equals 0, to x equals 1. And we have x squared times dx. That's kind of a... Let me try a different pen here. So we have x squared times dx. The others drop out. So this is equal to, oh, that's dry too. It's a very dry day out here. My pens are drying up. Let's try this one. And uh, so this is equal to, uh, let's see, that will be x to the third power over three, evaluate from zero to one, which is going to be equal to one over three. So that's the value we get when we do the line integral along path number one. Path number two, from now we're going to move in the y direction from zero to one. And again, we have the vector x squared in the x direction plus 2yz in the y direction plus y squared, oh, that's a square, in the z direction. And then we take the dot product with dl. In this case, the only surviving term is going to be the dy because in this case, when we go along path 2, we can say that dx is equal to dz is equal to 0. So this simply becomes dy in the y direction. So we're only going to concern ourselves with the second term of the vector. So this is equal to the integral of 2yz times dy from y equals 0 to 1. Now here we have to notice that we have a y and a z dy. So we have to get rid of the z. And notice that in this case z is equal to 0 because we're along the xy plane. So if z is equal to 0, so in this case, z is equal to 0, then if we replace 0 by that, we get 0, and we don't have to integrate. So that's the second path. Now along the third path, path 3. And along path 3, we know that dx is going to be equal to 0, and dy is going to be equal to 0. All right, so let's do our integral. From 0 to 1 now, it's in the z direction. So we have x squared in the x direction plus 2yz in the y direction plus y squared in the z direction dot product times dl but in this case only dz in the z direction will survive because we're only changing direction in the z direction. So dz in the z direction. So only the z term survives. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of y squared dz. Now, of course, we can't have an integral of y squared dz. Notice, in this case, y is equal to 1 along this path of travel, and it remains 1 as a constant, so we can say that y, path 3, y is equal to 1, replace y by that, so this is equal to integral from 0 to 1 of 1 squared, or simply 1 times dz, and so this is equal to z evaluated from 0 to 1, which is 1. So now we have 1 as a result here, we have 0 as a result there, we have 1 third as a result there. So when we add them all up, the line integral, so the integral from A to B along path 1 to 2 to 3, so we are traveling along that path, of the vector dot dl is equal to 1 third plus 0 plus 1, which is 4 thirds. And that's the total line integral from the origin to the point 1, 1, if we travel along that path. 
Now, what would happen if we traveled there directly from there to there? As we've seen before, we probably will get a different value, but not guaranteed. Depends upon whether or not that's a conservative or non-conservative field. So, let's try it directly from the origin to point B and see if we get something different. All right, so stay tuned and we'll do that on the next video.